Um, before I go into explaining what today's meeting is all about, I I just want one or two persons, you can unmute yourself. Um, just let us know any latest update about CHY Mall. Is there anything from your own end that you want to let us know or you want us to deliberate on? Please kindly unmute yourself and, and say one or two things. All right, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead, Mr. Dennis. All right, good evening, everybody. Good evening. All right, uh, with, with regards to uh, what you said now, there is one of our team members that targeted me, I think, sometimes on, on Monday to say, um, he, no, no, sometimes last week, he wanted to make a withdrawal from uh, his account, and I told him to send the points to the service center. So, and he did. Well, from the information I I shared last meeting, I said the the service center now to process your transaction and it takes like three to four days. All right. So, which was what I told him that it's going to take between three to four days before they will treat the transaction. So, on more, I was surprised on Monday when he now chatted me to say they are yet to treat the transaction. I told him to give them to yesterday that I let's see what happens between Monday and Tuesday. So yesterday night he chatted me to say they are yet to credit him. I said it because it was late at night I told him to let's talk first thing this morning. And you know first thing this morning he chatted me to say, okay, I told him send me your details in this format, how much the date you send the transaction, how much you transferred, and uh, your user name. He sent the information to me, and I contacted the service center to ask, guys, what's happening? This person sent points to the service center since last week. It's an up until now. We are yet to, to pay. That's going to tell me that even service center now, they are no longer we can no longer withdraw service withdraw through service center. That everything every withdrawal has to be through Bitcoin. And you know Bitcoin is really done at the back of it. So I don't know. That's that's the latest I got today, 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 today. So I just thought uh, okay, it would be a good time to share with everybody because as it is now, I don't I don't understand what's what's going on. It, it wouldn't have been an issue, you know, withdrawing through Bitcoin or anything. Fine. As far as I'm concerned, I, even, I prefer any or uh, getting paid in, bit, in Bitcoin. I prefer it to the Naira or whatever. But the thing is, if you're doing a back office withdrawal that will take seven days to 15 days, then it's no longer fun. Do you get it? Yeah. So that's the part. That's a part that I don't like. If I'm working and withdrawal through back office, whether Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, or whatever, and it's done in a timely fashion, then nobody will have an issue. But in a situation whereby you split a withdrawal, it takes a week, it takes two weeks, sometimes three weeks, and at the end of the third week, they might even reject that transaction for, for no obvious reason. Is the part that I'm yet to comprehend. So I don't know if anybody have similar information or similar experience. Uh -huh. um, with, withdrawal has, has always been uh, the biggest issue with um, CHY mod. And if they say Bitcoin, we don't have issue with that. We are going to educate mm -hmm. everybody, even if it is my grandma in the village that is in CHY mode, and they are saying Bitcoin, I'll make sure that she understands how to use that Bitcoin. So if we can no longer withdraw via service center, that means the only way now, why we wait for, you know, withdrawals via Bitcoin from the back office to, to work at work. Uh, what that simply means is that the only alternative you have now is do P2P to new registration and get the money. But if not, oh, we, yeah. all have, we all have to exercise patience until the withdrawals via BTC start going through. 
Well, from at least you and I have had uh, experience with other platforms, which we are still going to be very, I mean, sharing with everybody on this forum very soon. We know that it's not a rocket sign to be paid in Bitcoin the way the way they are making it sound. You get yeah. It's not it's not it shouldn't be a rocket science at all. I don't know why it's difficult that somebody will place a withdraw via Bitcoin and it's going to be taking one week, fifteen days or even more. You get yes. So I don't want to try So that's my, that's, that's my worry basically. So it's not, I told, I told them at the same time that it's not, it's not an issue getting paid in this point. Well, in a situation whereby you have to wait for forever for you to, to get, it's, it's, it's really, it's really crazy. It's really crazy. So what we need to do right now is actually understand because a lot of concerns that this has raised, CHY more paying with BTC has raised, is that most especially we in Nigeria, some of us in Nigeria and maybe other African countries, the problem we have been having is that we, we think that um, the government is against um, cryptocurrency and therefore we cannot use it and the rest. Um, let me just go ahead and share my screen. Uh, that will guide me to actually help in this. I, I don't know how many of us right now who are actually um, in any way, actually, whether you bought the Bitcoin, whether you have a platform that pays you in Bitcoin, or you just have anything related to Bitcoin. If you have, you will agree with me that the price of Bitcoin, let me go to the historical data. As I, between yesterday, if you can see my screen right now, Bitcoin is approaching $52,000. Mad, this is pre mad. presently $51,600 or thereabout. If I mm. should go back to the historical data, let's look at the one-year chart um, of Bitcoin. Let me just scroll down here. I've been able to put this thing together. This is uh, February. As at February 18th, last year, 2020, I believe a lot of persons were you know, still busy with work. Uh, we were still, uh, the, the coronavirus news was still something strange to us um, before it started hitting every other country and um, um, countries started going into lockdown. As at February, this is at, as at 2020, not 20, 2019 or even 2018, as at February 18, 2020, this is what Bitcoin opened at. At about $9,600 and it closes at $10,000. And since February up to October or there about Bitcoin has been going, has you know be, been between six thousand. Um, it it went as low as seven thousand five thousand dollars. That was as at March thirteenth. It went at low as five thousand dollars, and it was between this five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand. Between then until um, when a lot of persons started coming into CHY Mall and they started you know. Some persons who were smart about it started making their withdrawals via Bitcoin because those who discovered that actually when you make withdrawal via Bitcoin, you get the, the payout you get is higher than um, just withdrawing via bank and it's calculated at 380 and the rest. They started withdrawing via Bitcoin. There's somebody that was using an exchange called Binance. He was withdrawing this Bitcoin without even knowing what Bitcoin was. He said the, the friend introduced him uh, uh, to, to, to the platform. So it was at the point when he cannot even get um, anything from Shai Mall after the upgrade and the rest. He was not looking for help. I don't know who sent my number to him. And he said he has some money on Binance. He needs to remove that money now, now, now before the money vanishes. I said, oh, God, don't worry. Your money will not vanish. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, according to him, as at when he um, had out those Bitcoin in his Binance account, it was between 500 600,000. But he had over a million plus as at January this year when he wanted to withdraw the money. So that is, I, I, I don't know, right now, compared to those who actually um, came into the picture of Bitcoin and everything in 2017, it was, you know, the price at, as at 2017, it, this price were influenced by individuals. 
But right now, as it stands, it is not just individuals who are influencing the price of Bitcoin that is hitting um, this 51,000 plus. There's a whole lot of projection that Bitcoin will get to 200,000. Some persons are saying it will get up to 100,000. Some are even saying it will get up to 300,000 plus before the end of this year. So if you look at this, let's say by February last year, or there about you bought Bitcoin at $9,000. Or let's even say when you knew about Bitcoin was around, um, um, let's say October, September, October. As at September, 1st of September, let's look at what Bitcoin was. Bitcoin was about $11,600 as at 1st of September. It opened at 11000 and it closes at 12000 Let's look at October. Maybe you didn't know about Bitcoin or it was not even clear to you uh, 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 then. October 1st, on Independence, Independence Day in Nigeria, Bitcoin was about $10,700 and it closed at $10,900. So if you are still skeptical about Bitcoin in October, how about November? November when everybody, um, when the promo was ongoing, everybody wanted to be a member of CSY Mall and the rest. And then November, as at 1st of November, Bitcoin was about $13,000. It was still a nightmare to a whole lot of persons. So December, Bitcoin started, you know, climbing up and going beyond. It was not even December. I said November 15, Bitcoin was $16,000. And people were saying that ah, this is another good opportunity coming. And the news, everybody was following Bitcoin. And gradually, Bitcoin started climbing. November, Bitcoin was $18,000. Um, towards the end of November, Bitcoin was, uh, November ending was uh, $18,000, still $18,000. And then December, it was going up to as high as $19,000. And before you know it, Bitcoin, um, same December was $22,000. This was the height of its all because in 2017, Bitcoin almost hit $20,000 and it started dropping. So this was the height of it all. Even at this $22,000, people were still skeptical. They said, ah, no, it was going high. It was on the high side. You don't, you don't need to buy. You don't need to buy. Then we came back by January from $22,000. Bitcoin actually, um, you know, as of January, Let's say January 1st, 1st of January, Bitcoin was $28,000. And before the end of January, Bitcoin hit almost $40,000 or thereabouts before it started coming down. And it came down from $40,000 to about $33,000, $35,000. It was just between these for, for a, a few weeks. And people were still skeptical about it. But look at the price of Bitcoin today. Can you see this? As at yesterday, Bitcoin was $47,000. It, let me do this. Um, for those of you who are in Nigeria, this is about 27 million plus to one Bitcoin. 27 million plus. If you have bought Bitcoin last month, that Bitcoin was between 33. It was between, in fact, as at the time that CBN News came out, Bitcoin was 16 million plus. Last week, Friday, last upper week, Friday, when the news came out that CBN has um, ordered banks to close every account that has to do with anything with uh, crypto. Now, this, this order, uh, the, the order or the ban that uh, CBN gave, the people this would have affected directly are uh, exchange like Luno. Because Luno used um, a payment institutes like uh, Paystack and Flutterwave to actually process their payment. So it, there was no way banks were going to close your account directly because Luno was the one that was dealing directly with the banks. Remember with Luno, when you make your withdrawal in less than 30 minutes or thereabout, you get that because that is because they have integrated Flutter with payment system like Flutter with and Paystack to automate that once you initiate that withdrawal and the system verify that this is actually tallying with your information, immediately your account is credited. So the people that instruction would have affected directly are people like uh, Luno who had a, 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 who were dealing directly with the banks to actually process this payment. So the earlier we start understanding about, we get a better understanding about how Bitcoin works, and you know the initial in, in intention of um, when Bitcoin was initiated around the white paper was actually published in 20, 2008, and it was officially launched in two thousand and nine. Um, whether it is a group of persons or an individual, 
as I'm talking to you now, the identity of this person called, or the person called um, um, Satoshi Nakumuti, nobody know anything about them yet. But the platform which they invented, which a lot of persons have contributed to, to give us what we have right now, has actually built up to um, institutes like Tesla actually accepting and you know, making good use of Bitcoin and the rest. Big organizations like this are actually keen into Bitcoin uh, and the rest. This will keep going up. And that is why I believe um, some of the, the uh, um, projection people are actually giving out there that Bitcoin will hit the $100,000 and the rest. Because this time around, it is not just individuals who are dealing with Bitcoin. Organizations are coming into Bitcoin and they are buying into the idea of Bitcoin. And you can be a part of this. So if CHY Mall has introduced us to Bitcoin, and this will give us a better understanding of what we are supposed to do, then let us key into it. Why we wait patiently for um, the system to actually stabilize in you know, making the payment and all those kind. I believe maybe they are working on a system where they can, when you make your withdrawal, you get it either immediately or just like um, platform like Qubitech actually do, you know, in three to five days, you get your withdrawal in your wallet. If that is what they are actually working towards, let us exercise patient that way. But why we wait for that? Why we wait for that? I actually made a video on five different ways you can earn money um, via Bitcoin. You can still make your Bitcoin. If you have Bitcoin right now and you are bothered about how to get it to your bank account, the only problem you have now is that you are going to sell it lower than the price you are seeing at the market now. Because the price of buying Bitcoin is different from the price of um, selling Bitcoin. That is uh, selling to your local currency anyways. When you want to do that kind of trading, the prices differs. If you have Bitcoin right now and you want to sell them, the whole lot of persons out there who are ready to buy your Bitcoin from you. And that is why I will advise anybody, if you have not seen the video I made about Remitano, go and see that video, create a Remitano account for yourself. The difference between Remitano and Luno, I'm using this example because we are, um, some, Luno is basically, the African countries where you can use Luno is, uh, I think Zambia, Gambia, Zambia or Gambia or Oderabad, South Africa, Nigeria, and uh, these are the few countries I know you can seamlessly use Luno. But right now in Nigeria, we cannot use it because of the ban with a uh, bank, not dealing with directly with these persons. But if you're in Cameroon, if you're in Ghana and some other African countries, you can use Remitano to do the P2P um, transaction. You know, you send your Bitcoin to someone and the person um, sends, sends you money directly to your account. That is the platform that you have to, if you have not seen that video, go to my channel and check out that video and create a Remitano account for yourself and start making use of Bitcoin. Now, when it comes to earning Bitcoin, one of the ways I, I, I actually advise people is trading, but trading comes with a lot of tricks. You need to be, you know, vast in the aspect of studying the chart, understanding the price and the rest before you can actually start benefiting from um, trading Bitcoin. If you cannot trade Bitcoin, there are platforms that does this for you. All you just need to do is give them the money. All of these things, all of them comes with risk. Whether you are trading it yourself or you are trusting a platform to do that for you. But be careful with the platform you actually trust because there are thousands of them out there promising you heaven and earth, how you will get your returns in the next few hours and the rest. You have to be careful with the platform you get your money involved in. That is another a key thing that everybody here has to be aware of so that at the end of the day you don't you know feel that ah because everything online is scam even everything offline is equally scam some of us stay in our house confidently people call you on your phone and you give them every details about your bank so those ones were not done online so why you can be, you can anybody can be scammed anywhere but you have to be careful with the platform you get yourself involved in so if you cannot trade, you trust other platforms to do the trading for you. If you cannot trust other platforms, what I advise people to do is buy Bitcoin and keep it. It's just like going to a bank to open a, what's it called, a fixed deposit account or something. But Bitcoin investing in the cryptocurrency market now will pay you better than your fixed deposit will do. 
if um let me go to this um, chat and let's see if i can actually take this back to 2009 that would be too heavy for my system to load um 2009 will i be able to get there let's say you you some of us knew about bitcoin in 2016 2017 even with uh, when mmm came and all those kind of stuff and the rest but a lot of persons were aware of bitcoin as at early as early as 2009 if you have bought bitcoin in 2009 to what we have today or let me even go with 2011 so that the system will not be too heavy for my my brother to load if you have bought bitcoin sometime in 2011 if i scroll down here let's say how much was bitcoin in 2011 okay i have as at april 29 2013 how much was bitcoin 134 dollars bitcoin opened at 134 dollars and closed at 147 dollars let's say you are not trading anything as i'm talking to you now uh, bitcoin just hit fifty two thousand dollars so let's say you just bought bitcoin as a 2013 you just bought Bitcoin and kept in your wallet. Can you imagine what you would have made by now? So if you cannot trust any platform to trade for you, if you cannot do the trading yourself, the best way to do to invest in this crypto market is buy Bitcoin and hold. Buy Bitcoin and hold. And when you're buying Bitcoin to hold, please look at five years time, look at 10 years time, look at a longer term, look at it as a longer term investment. It is not something you buy today because Bitcoin is $52,000 today, doesn't mean that it will remain at $52,000. The price of Bitcoin or the market is very volatile. It, it fluctuates. Bitcoin can come, some of you, I was just speaking with someone on phone, I believe you'll be in this meeting. I said, please, if you are buying Bitcoin to hold, they're not going to buy it to, you know, every day you wake up and look at the, 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 the wallet. Because if you buy at $52,000 and by prevention, Bitcoin drops to, let's say, even $10,000, you have a heart attack. If you don't look at it as a long-term investment, you will have a heart attack. I had this experience with someone I, I told you, you know, there was a video actually published about crypto.com app and the rest. I said, okay, buy Bitcoin. And it was, I, I don't know what actually that guy did, but. It was not too comfortable that the price was always dropping, dropping, dropping. Um, Bitcoin he bought at six hundred dollars is now four hundred or is now three hundred and the rest. If you look at it that way, you would die before your time. So if you must buy Bitcoin and hold, you must buy it, close the account, dump it somewhere, but just make sure you remember your password or your access code to access that particular account. Dump it somewhere. Come back in five years time. Let's say you are doing this investment. Those of you who go to bank to open fixed deposit account, you do it for your children's um, education and the rest. Let's say your child is a year old. Say, okay, before, by in five years time, my child should be in primary school and secondary school. I want this money to be able to fund this child's education. And then keep it somewhere safe. Come back in five years time and check and you'll be surprised. But if you want to do the daily stuff, we have platform where you can put in your money and you get paid in Bitcoin every day, every day. And this is live and direct. So that is what I just have to say here. The first thing is um, Bitcoin may be strange, but get a better understanding of it. First, understand how this platform works. You don't need any bank to you know, transact with Bitcoin. You don't need any bank to use your cryptocurrency. Because the essence, the reason, the, the, in fact, the number one reason why this Bitcoin of a thing was created is to remove third party, you know, third parties like bank. In order for you to transact, let's say Naira to dollar, you need a bank to do this. If you want to send money, your fiat currency from Nigeria to someone in US and UK, you need the bank to do this. And this attracts a lot of fee. It does not go immediately. It takes up to five working days and a whole lot of stress that you will need to go through to make sure that this transaction goes through. So the cryptocurrency through the blockchain technology was created to actually remove third parties like banks 
You can, I can easily transfer my coin to you and you easily transfer. Everything is done online. And in the next 30 or even minutes, you get those money in your account. That is the main reason why this platform was created or the cryptocurrency store was created. And because bank has no control or government has no control over it, a lot of persons are feeling threatened um, that this could ruin their business. But remember, this is an institution actually complaining about this. Even those in CBN who have said no bank should deal with this, they still have investment in one way or the other in Bitcoin. So don't be fooled. As I said earlier, that same week that uh, this news came out, Bitcoin was about 16 million plus. But the Monday after that, Bitcoin was 20, 000, 20 million. Today, what is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is about um, 27 million. So let's say you actually jumped into the trend of those who are afraid uh, banks are closing up. I don't want bank to close my account and the rest. And you started buying Bitcoin. Do you know how much you would have made by now? Do you know how much you would have made by now? So instead of just sitting on the fence and complaining about banks, about government and the rest, that complain about shy more, please key into this opportunity. You don't need a soothsayer to tell you this. If we cannot, uh, you know, help each other, uh, let's say CH Ramo has brought us together. If our aim of coming together um, is um, not to make each one of us, you know, have a better opportunity, most especially now that things are very hard. Things are very hard. We live in a country where people will come out and tell you that uh, investing in cow, in real or cow, is better than Bitcoin. These are what people will go to national. I, I, I wonder how some of our leaders in this country think. They don't think now. That investing in cow, cow, cow that is no more value than human being in this country is better than Bitcoin. Bitcoin has made a lot of people millionaires. Those who understand the system, those who understand uh, 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 risk management and rest, Bitcoin has made a lot of persons billionaires. And they don't even talk about it. And then somebody who has, I don't even know how many cow he has, is telling you that investing in cow <laughs> is better than Bitcoin. Please, if you have that kind of ideology, if you believe with people like that, then you will keep staying where you are why others are, you know, soaring high with, with, with the trend. I believe this same person might have said um, some years ago that internet was, was a bad thing. But he uses phone that uses a WhatsApp or even on Facebook or something. So please, it is not late yet. Bitcoin may be 27 million or 52,000 or even $100,000 today. It is not late yet to key into it. And you know why? Bitcoin has a limited number of supply. And what is the limit that Bitcoin can go? It's about 21 million. I was hoping I'll get that on there. Okay, let me just click on Bitcoin. Okay, yeah, this is it. This is the statistics. So the maximum supply Bitcoin who have is about 21 million Bitcoin. And already 18 million is in circulation. 18 million is in circulation. So Bitcoin may be fifty-two or $51,000 today. It doesn't mean that it will remain here because uh, since it has a limited number, it is not something that maybe when this has been circulated already, uh, people will go and print more. No, it will keep circulating and Bitcoin can hit up to a million dollars. God keeps us alive. If, you, if it is not in your own uh, time, it could be in the time of your children. So the best thing you can do today is, even if it is 100000 even if it is, do it in the name of your child. 